This is the CH341 USB BIOS programmer. It all comes in this bag. This is the main programmer board. This is the test clip. The ribbon cable has a red wire, which is for the position of the number one pin. This is the spring loaded clip that attaches to the BIOS chip. Here is one of the adapters if you need it. This is the main adapter that I used. It fits nice and snug. It has the pins numbered on it. The red wire goes with the number one pin. It's also easy to pull apart. Here is the main programmer board. Here's the back side of it so you can see the solder points. Here is another board and some pins. You can see the pins are numbered. Here is a close up of the programmer board. You insert the adapter with the pins into these holes and you push the lever down to lock it in place. Notice the orientation of the board with the lever on the upper right hand side. For BIOS, you use the left side. You can see the divider that splits eight pins on the right side and eight pins on the left side. Notice where I am putting the pins. Then you can lock it in place. This is my first time using this device. I thought something was wrong with it. Then I realized that you have to give it an extra push to lock it. Let's do it again. It's good. When it's connected to the computer, a red light will turn on here. The clamp has eight metal connectors that look like teeth. They clamp onto the eight pins on the BIOS chip. My BIOS chip was easy to identify. It was the WinBond chip. The dot on the chip represents pin number one and the red wire will connect to that pin. Take your time aligning the clamp. I used the Neo Programmer software with this programmer and it detected my BIOS chip. At first, it wouldn't detect my chip, so in the detect options, I clicked on all the options. Here's what it looks like when it's reading the chip. I didn't need to have the motherboard powered on while reading and writing to the BIOS. In fact, when I did have my Chromebook computer connected to the charger, it soft bricked the BIOS and I had to do it all over again. The question mark is to identify the chip, the green arrow up is to read from the chip, the X is to erase from the chip, the blue arrow down is to write to the chip. Always make a backup copy of your BIOS after you read the chip. That way, if you run into any issues modding the BIOS, you can go back to that original BIOS. Someone sold me a Chromebook that was locked. The seller didn't know it was locked. Using this programmer and the help from the BadCaps forum, I was able to unlock it. This BIOS programmer worked out great for me. If you're looking for a BIOS programmer, check this one out.